deep cavern. What's going on here? Is this... Ow! No, oh, nice. I am honored and handled. Uh... Okay, now I just want to go talk to the board. Super cool pipe organ vacuum system sort of situation. Hotline chamber. Let's go. Great sound design. Listen to that. Uh-oh. Okay, you got it. Say what? Okay. Problem in the foundation. Was Ati's vacation spot? We need to check this out. Ah, uh, that place. Leave the man be. Let let him go in peace. Ati's on vacation. Oh hey. up y'all uh <laughs> okay now we're on some stanley parable shit uh uh hmm okay Sticky note complaint. To whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. Yeah, get Adi on this. The hell is he doing? He's got me running around doing all of his jobs because I guess I'm his assistant or whatever. But like this seems like seems like a job for the for the main man. OK, well, that's a fun room. Foundation. I forgot that we had a control point like right out there. Good thing too. I don't want to, have to run around and find it again. Dark, quiet, transdimensional. This place really suits Ati. Hell yeah. So that etching is the door. Okay, let's try opening it. Yo, real shit. This is some Lord of the Rings type stuff, right? Like what kind of elvish phrase do I have to say to get this to open? Or I guess Dwarven phrase, right? They have that kind of passage to, to find the dwarves who they realize, spoiler, are all dead. Foundation. The board said this was an emergency. Yeah, that's the only reason I didn't end the stream. They said it was important, an emergency. I got stuff to do, man. But for the board, I'll check it out. It looks like no one's been down here in a while. I like that, uh, 
that drone in the background. Excuse me. Is that how black rock hmm. propagates? Crystals are kind of pretty. They are. Emily would be having a field day down here. Oh, you know it, girl. My life's been a strange one. Certainly stranger. Catch him. Like but this place, it's something else. The floors crawl, the walls slither. It's a shifting pit. On the street, it's just another drab building standing there for anyone to see. No one does. How did we miss it? Northmore. Acting director in Northmore now is on a train from Washington. He'll expect answers, which is why I'm making these tapes. They're evidence that before trench trying to understand. Father searched his entire life for something like this. And we find it one week after he's buried. That's rough, buddy. He always hated irony. Of course, father, the great director, Ash, would have been the first man in. And look at me, his bookworm son, the supposed head of research who can't stop his legs from shaking long enough to step over the threshold. I'm sure you did great, man. You're too hard on yourself. Look at those volumetrics. Wow. There's something under there. Maybe that's just floating debris when I levitate objects. Ayo, hey, this is a whole thing. The foundation. Bottom of the oldest house. Stop the hiss. Marshall? How was she on the hotline? Unless she's dead. <gasps> Jesus. She seemed like the kind of woman who could survive anything. Who's Marshall again? I feel like I kind of remember her. I remember the name for sure. Ayo, what? Just found their way down here too. They just like hang up there like bats. I don't, I don't like that. Hidden area. Nope. How do I get up there? I wonder if I can land on one of these, maybe. Oh, I, I think for this, I have to use the ground slam. Whoa. I did not double tap. Space bar, and that was very scary. Hold on. I did not seem to be able to use ground slam. Oh my god. How did I make it through that? 
Yes, so I just float right through that geometry, which is not ideal. And I cannot ground slam up. I have to ground slam down, so. This seems like I do not have an ability unlocked or I'm just, uh, yeah, or I'm missing some knowledge. One or the other. Come through. Places to be, things to do. I'm the director. Yeah, I see your hiss ass. Thing in your all that. No shot. Not today, bucko. That's how the director handles business. I shoot first. When it comes to the hiss. Not even once. Deep cavern. What's going on here? Is this? Ow. This gun is such a liability. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Well, first of all, there's health here, but that doesn't really matter because all I have to do is interact with this uh, control point and I get back up to full health. I forgot that that is a mechanic. Uh, don't look down. I love the aesthetic of this location. Real great. Cave paintings on art and time. At first, I thought the cave paintings in the foundation chronicled ancient humans' encounters with natural occurrences like weather, but it soon became clear they depicted events far outside the average human experience. Also, it seems I was wrong to assume the images are ancient. Radiocarbon dating suggests something impossible, that I've been down here longer than the paintings. That's absurd, though. The style and medium clearly indicate a Paleolithic origin. I was ready to conclude that an ancient community of humans lived in or around the oldest house. Now, with this information, I, I don't know what to think. Is one of our agents drawing these? Or is there someone down here with us? This place has a habit of skewing my results, so perhaps the data is corrupted. Or perhaps some paintings were created at different times. The art does seem to chronicle not only the past, but also the present and possibly even the future. I see in them echoes of the board, some linear architecture, even what could be interpreted as a director. Are the paintings telling a story that's still being written? If so, who is writing it? Great question. Ah, paintings. Inverted pyramid, baby. The board. That one kind of looks like, uh, that one kind of looks like Hartman a little bit with the weird proportions and the dangly fingers and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see any that resemble the director. Is that a face, eyes, mouth, side of head, neck, potentially? I don't know. Yeah. 
New enemy type. That's cool. They're very aggressive, those. Just total disregard of self-preservation. They did have kind of a prehistoric demeanor. Relocation order. Tom, you missed the good news. I'm sure the official memo will go out soon, but Northmore called in all hands at the crossroads to announce we're finally moving out of this hellhole and up to the house proper. Bureau Brass apparently solved the moving walls problem, or at least figured out a way to pinpoint where and when they happen. All I know is going up means goodbye darkness, goodbye weird lunches with that ex noxy scientist, and goodbye pissing into the pit. I know that was you, Barry. Northmore's ordering the foundation sealed as soon as we can haul our stuff out and somehow convince Ash to come with us. He's the only one kicking up a fuss. This is long overdue. We've lost 11 men and damn near $10,000 in supplies moving between the entrance and the foundation. And for what? Research? Ash is batty if he thinks we want to stay here and sift through more sand for him. It's just rusted iron flakes anyway. Did you know that? We were breathing that shit in. Yeah, it's interesting getting elements of this backstory. And, and it, it's it's curious to figure out exactly what the lineage is, right? Because Trench, if, it feels like Trench was the director for a good while before I became the director. This is happening when there was a director named Ash who had a son also named Ash. So maybe it was like an Ash Senior, Ash Junior thing. But there was a director named Ash who died. And then an interim director was on their way here. And then, and then maybe Trench came afterward. Um, oh, there's a thing there. Um, but also this sand, by the time it made it up to the house, uh, Dr. Darling was researching the sand. And Dr. Darling is still around, so it's not like it's been five generations or something. It's not like this started 130 years ago, unless Dr. Darling is old as hell, which is possible. I wonder if... Hmm. I was wondering if maybe I get up there by getting uh, an improvement to my levitation at some point. But I think the map shows that I will actually have access to that from a different direction. So probably not. So yeah, I'm just kind of trying to wrap my mind around the the continuity of things here. The lineage of events. Geyser. That's cool. I like environmental hazards. And there's no there's no quelling it either. Watch your step. Foundation accident. Mr. Wilder, I have some bad news. You remember that Robert Ricardo fellow we brought in as a special consultant to map the lower caves? Well, today he found a chamber with weird eyes covering every inch of the walls and a strange black pillar in the center. Kind of looks like the one at the crossroads, but smaller. We had a bureau member shadowing him, but whatever happened in there did a number on our guest. The docs are taking a look, but it's pretty clear Mr. Adventure's exploring days are over. I know we were careful to limit this guy's exposure to the non-ordinary. Drugging him and carrying him through the upper floor was a real hoot, by the way. But we really need to reevaluate our policies on external contractors. Honestly, we'd be better off forming a special division trained in repelling and orienteering than subjecting more outsiders to the shit we deal with. They almost always end up dead or loony. Marcus. Ah. Ooh, sneaky. Okay. 
It's, it's like there's something back there. Yeah, there's a whole path. And I do not have access to it. Ooh. It's very pointed. Nice. Um, yeah, I do not seem to have the tools to navigate through that yet. So it would seem. The astral plane is cutting into our dimension. What if this happens in the upper floors? It'll destroy the bureau. Could do. Personal mods full and weapon mods full. Okay. Energy recovery on melee kills. Let's be honest, that's never going to happen. I can get rid of all melee abilities, probably. Um, ooh, what is this? Projectile speed. Thin space. Wow. Holy hell. 500% projectile speed. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'll replace that. It's basically going to make these rockets just bullets at that point, right? Actually, I might drop off blast radius because that's kind of backfired a little bit for me. But I want to see. I want to see what uh, this looks like. Projectile speed of plus 615%. Okay, stand still. It, it is actually instant. <laughs> it's basically hit scan. With like, a, with like a little bit of a detonation delay. It's very fast. That's quite funny. Okay, so I might reevaluate what I'm gonna do here, cause yeah, I feel like blast radius is risky damage. I feel like damage is kind of an obvious go-to. So I feel like a rate of fire could be kind of nice. To be honest with you, let's see. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Source. Elemental source game. What the hell is source? I actually don't know what source is. Is that something new in this area? Source? Source gained. I wish I brought Emily with me. I could really use my head of research right about now. Man, I, I wish you had brought Emily with you too, because then we could like gal pal around and we could we could have like a buddy 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 comedy little little duo palling around, you know, with with the smart research lady. 
That'd be so fun. I guess it's not too late. All right, we could. Excuse me. Marshall? Marshall, you're alive. Like, we could go back to Central Research or whatever, Central Executive. Wait! It's Jesse! The director! Hello? Excuse me. Come back. This feels like a boss arena. This place is huge. It is. Marshall? How do you... Can oh. you hear me? I thought that was a she light bulb. Was on the hotline, so that person couldn't have been Marshall, right? One problem at a time. Let's I see guess. what's going on with that pillar first. Like, I thought those were like fluorescent lights, and I was like, how the hell did they get fluorescent lights that big? But no, it's, a, it's just a carving. They do that a lot. Can I buy that that gun? That new gun? I can! Nice. That'll be good, because that'll allow me to offload another weapon mod out of storage. Um, so what is that gun? Surge. Oh. Fire single adhesive. Left click to detonate that grenade. Okay, that's kind of sick. Can you keep shooting them? No, okay. Hold on, can you detonate them mid-air? I assume so. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. I don't know that it's terribly useful, but there's probably situations where that would be good. I'm sure. Reload speed or damage? I guess damage. It's been five days since we first entered the building. Traversing the interior is dangerous due to that shifting, but we did manage to find a lower cavern that seems structurally predictable, which is a scientific way of saying its walls won't crush us in our sleep. Northmore even made a discovery. A pistol placed on a stone pedestal in front of that strange ebony pillar. Seems like something out of a storybook, except the heroes usually find swords, not handguns. But it is the perfect lure for someone like him. Hours after finding this weapon, Northmore cornered me to spout some nonsense about how the board had made him the director. He ran it about the title being meaningless before now, calling father and all other previous directors jams, frauds, and worse. I think this place is worse for Northmore than it is for me. Strangest thing? There was no pedestal in front of that pillar a day ago. This building has swallowed a dozen of my men, and now it's handing out presents? Is it playing some sort of game? If it is, we're most certainly losing. Hell, we don't even know the rules. Interesting. So this is very much like very early days of the FBC. very early days of this whole thing. Okay, yeah, you hold on. I'll come back to that. 
Foundation pillar on the nature of the pillar. The pillar found in the crossroads is best described as an onyx spike that protrudes from the cave floor like an imposing stalagmite. Despite its aggressive silhouette, the structure has an undeniable allure. Uh, Freud uh, would certainly have something to say about the pillar's overly erect nature, but I'm more drawn to Whitmore's essay on dynamic layers, structures within the structures, the fractal mirror in every being. Given its significant location, I believe the pillar is either the very heart of the oldest house or an intrusion within that heart. Or perhaps it's like the husk of a seed from which the oldest house sprouted. Uh, Trottier uh, wrote that great architecture isn't built it grows but then why does the pillar look so different from the rest of this place's concrete walls and rocky caverns it's easier to see it is an anomaly a buried artifact a foreign body a demonic phallus i wonder if this pillar is any more welcome here than we are certainly some things to think about ley lines uh, on light lines and their energies. For all my research into the oldest house's ley lines, I still don't understand why they converge here at the base of this pillar. I suppose the simplest reason is that they have to converge somewhere, Occam's razor and all that, but that seems wrong. The esoteric world abhors coincidence. So what is the true relationship between this pillar and the ley lines? Does it act as a magnet attracting them? polar north or is it a pillar uh or is the pillar a product of their focused energies a sprout nourished by the constant flow of the oldest house's power perhaps classifying that power would provide some insight however we currently have no means of measuring or quantifying it given time it may become possible to collect and even harness this energy on that note northmore is bringing in the much lauded dr gustav wagner from headquarters in dc to aid my research I suppose this is his way of saying he doesn't trust me to work unsupervised. Let's just hope Dr. Wagner is as smart as his dearly departed Fuhrer once believed him to be. Yeah. Woof. Oh, is this uh, the director of sorts? No, this is... Ah, oh, this is the big worm I fought twice huh wow look at that lighting light going from there bouncing off of the red sand and onto the walls love it big worm big worm It's, it's worm hours here at the, uh, the oldest house. There's a thing up there. I do not have the means to access it. I'm imagining at some point this will grow out of the wall and I will be able to jump up and up. Yeah, I saw a path down here to the right. Oh, there's a pass path over there as well. Um, so I'm gonna check that out before I go into the stalagmite. Because this feels like hidden area territory. Although it is going so deep that I'm questioning now. Oh. I'm questioning now just how. Oh. In location discovered. Nice. Unacceptable behavior memo. From the desk of Director Northmore, to all Foundation personnel, it has come to my attention that members of our exploration teams have been relieving themselves in the God-given liquid 
of their God-given liquids in the chasms at the Foundation. As per earlier orders, all personnel currently serving in the Foundation must expel fluids, urinate, slash, and do their business exclusively into the correctly colored and labeled vials provided by research personnel. To do otherwise disrupts the ongoing study of the Foundation and demonstrates a profound disrespect not only for the board and its oldest house, but also for the bureau you so proudly serve. If I discover firsthand any agents treating the Oblivion as their personal lavatory, they will be forced to go down there and personally clean up their mess. Signed, Director Broderick Northmore. Ooh, he is not having any of it. Astral copy. With the astral plane now physically accessible, a torrent of new information has been collected on the entities known as astral copies. The copies' bodies are composed of a dense stone-like material that is both resilient under controlled circumstances and brittle when struck with significant force. See Report 8-11-1633 uh, for full com composition analysis. Whether the astral copies possess individual consciousness or are directed by a higher intelligence such as the board remains unknown. However, their sh shared aggression seems to indicate a unified goal. Director Faden's encounters with these entities when binding objects of power in the astral plane indicate they serve as live targets for potential para-utilitarians to practice on. Some have been equipped with bureau weaponry, though it seems unlikely they were armed by our personnel. It is important to note that they appear immune to his corruption. Refer to file redacted for full report. Interesting that this is so recent. This is such a recent thing. I mean, this is not what I just picked up, of course, but I guess it came through the wire just telepathically. <laughs> his sharpened. His sharpened agents display the very utilitarian ability to rapidly move short distances. This ability is unique in the fact that it's not associated with any known object of power. However, we should not discount the possibility that this ability the possibility that this ability is an object of variation. For example, abrupt physical relocation, APR, could potentially be a variant of the jukebox's effect. Other explanations of the his sharpened ability currently include momentary time manipulation brief increase in physical speed, inhibiting the witness's sense of sight. If we do accept that the hiss sharpens ability is not connected to a known object of power, then the hiss are either manifesting unique paranatural abilities or there are objects in the house that we aren't aware of. Either way, the hiss are continuing to develop new strains of corruption and that is cause for concern. Refer to file redacted for full report. I felt that one. I sensed that one coming. You could kind of, you could kind of see the the vapors, the hiss vapors coming off of it. I was like, this seems like a good room to fight in. Google says it's the money. Sorry, I am super late to reading that. I don't remember what that's in reference to. Oh, nice. Oh, the source. Oh, uh, wait, money. Money. Maybe like, um, I, I guess, I guess like the, the currency for right, 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 right. Okay. Yes. Right here, right here. This. Yes. And that's that's the same symbol. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So that's used for buying mods and upgrades and stuff like that. This feels pretty dead end-ish. I guess every path doesn't have to lead to something, you know? Going in. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Authorized to use the new tool, weapon. So I can only choose one? I thought I was done with these tests. What do we have here? Now, what were we saying about this being the Stanley Parable? Left door or the right door? Which one do you go through? Does it ultimately matter? Okay, so I'll be able to destroy the crystal rock things. And I can rebuild it? Interesting. Okay, what does this one do? So force, pull, and push. Perhaps. Or just force, pull. Interesting. So one allows me to destroy and one allows me to build. <laughs> I choose death. Just walk off the edge. Hold on, let me try and jump off this. Give it a little test run, you know? I hate this. I hate that I have to decide. This really is a challenge. I imagine it probably doesn't matter. No, oh, nice. I am honored and handled. Okay, so it does eventually go away. I'm gonna shoot you and take your ability too. Okay. Yoink. By E, they mean just use your grabbing and throwing abilities. So I should be able to do middle mouse click as well. Let me test that. Yeah. They say that shooting is forbidden. Okay.
Ah, I see. Oh. Didn't really need it at that time, but I see. Didn't really need it this time either, but I did it just to say that I did it. This feels like a little battle arena, possibly. Oh, no, just uh, the end. Nice. Okay, well, let's review. This broken pillar is called the nail. It was okay. broken by something, and now the astral plane is bleeding into the foundation, which will destroy the oldest house, the bureau, and everyone inside. I need to find four locks, or keys, or whatever, to stop that from happening. But I'm the director. I've handled worse. This should be simple-ish. You with me? That all checks out. I believe you. Um, okay. That seems like a good spot to stop the stream for. I'm already well past where I thought I would be. Let me buy an ability. Three points, I'll get both of these. You wink. You like? Great, perfect. Um, yeah, that that would be a great recap to hear again at the beginning of next stream, because uh, that put it all very succinctly. Okay, it's very late. Thank you for joining me on this stream. Even even when I have beaten the game, there is still clearly so much left. I think I think we're largely in DLC territory. At least I, I know with the Alan Wake stuff for sure with this possibly could be, I don't know. I think there were, I think there were two DLCs, the Alan Wake one and a different one. So this might be the other one, but uh, yeah, it's super cool. Still very much enjoying it. Cool story. Love the vibe. Right. It's a good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. I am supposed to be uh, shooting Emergent Beacon stuff later today, but I need to, I need to, you know, prep for that. I I'm I am mostly prep for that. Uh, storm rolled through last night slash this morning and uh, dropped the temperature twenty degrees, so it should be a real nice uh, shooting environment. Hopefully, um, so I'm looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. And I've also got some other emergent beacon stuff that I'm working on. Um, and yeah, hopefully I make some big progress on that soon. That's, that's ideal. Take it easy. You can find me on co-host at cohost.org slash brand, B-R-A-N-D-T. Uh, you can find me on discord at, uh, discord.emergentbeacon.com, uh, YouTube at youtube.com slash emergent beacon. And... Here, twitch.tv slash Gatawag. And that's that's mostly it. Uh, take it easy. Have a good night. See you later.